Hi everybody, welcome back to Work Right Planner. My name is Erica, and here we talk about all things planning and budgeting from the viewpoint of a formerly single mom. I've learned a lot through the years raising two kids on my own, and I would like to share that with you guys. So, today, I don't know if you noticed in my last cash stuffing, but I had a lot of the same bills, and my envelopes are getting kind of full. So, I'm not really unstuffing a whole lot of money, but I did make myself some placeholders and I think they're cute. Um, I didn't want anything that would look like actual money because I don't want to get it confused with the other money and actually try to spend that money. But what this is going to do is put $100 back in the bank and I'll just put it on my little sheet that I keep that tells me what the money is for. So I've got those. And then of course, um, I have a $100 bill for my envelope because I'm comfortable putting that in mine. And we're gonna do something with the Valentine's Day money. So there's that. Okay, let's get to this. So I, you see some extra binders over here. We are actually going to spread this out and make a couple of new binders today. I have um, new envelopes and some new inserts to put in there. So this should be fun. Let's start with these though, so that I can put my wallet up. What have we got in here? I don't know that I really want to condense this one down a whole lot. Let's start with this one because I know this one can go down. Okay, this one's got $111 in it. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 5, 10, and 11. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, and 1. And we're going to swap that out for this $100 bill here. And we may come back and put $10 in this one later to swap out for those two fives. I know I've said this before, I like to keep the highest denomination possible in these because it's harder to spin that. So just hold on to this one for a moment. We have $100 and 20s to deal with. This one should have $111. we have got 20, 40, 60, 80, <laughs> 90, 1, 5, 6, let's swap these. 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So, I don't want to put any of this back in the bank. So we'll hold on to the 20s. Let's swap out two 10s for a 20. And then 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 for one of the 10s. There we go. So we should still have 111. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 11. Perfect. And I didn't even pull this out to show you it was 111, but I don't figure you care about seeing the tracker. Okay, so this one is done. This one We'll hold off on for a second because, well, let's get the two fives and a 10 and that way we don't have to worry about remembering to come back. So we've got one, 10 and 11. Okay, in the gas envelope, we should have 140. I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 20, 5, 30, 5, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. Okay. <clears throat> We're not going to do anything with the 20s. And I don't know that we need to do necessarily anything with the 10s. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. 
So let's get rid of these fives and ones and we'll pull a 20 over. Oh, I guess I should put these up here too. So I don't get them confused. Okay, so we should have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 130, 140. Okay. Well, here, let's get some tens. Okay. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, and 40. And I apologize if you can hear my dryer going. It's like 4.30 in the morning and I need to get some laundry done before the teenager has to get up because today is his laundry day. Okay, our groceries. We should have $50 in here. 20, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So that means we should have ten dollars let's see we got 5 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 and 20 so we'll put these fives and these ones back in here and we'll pull out a 20 and that gives us our 20 40 50 for groceries. Okay, joint miscellaneous should have 26. We have 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So let's pull out a five. So we have 25 and 6. That's much better. We'll probably end up spending some of this today because I have a training to go to, which means I can't cook anything to take to Paula today. It's in the No Dine Challenge. This says we should have $15. And here we have 5, 10, 11. Lord, I can't even count. Like I said, it's 4.30 in the morning. We got 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I'm going to keep this 5. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we're going to pull a 10 out. Put that 5 in there. Okay, so we've got 10, 15. In the No Dine Challenge. Oh, look how much thinner that is. That's going to feel so much better in my wallet. Okay. In the back to bank envelope. I don't have anything fancy made for that yet. So we're just going to slide these right in there. Yeah, that's a whole lot better. Okay. Now, to get to the fun stuff. I'm going to change out some of my binders. I want to keep this one as a holiday binder. So we're going to move this over here for a moment. Okay, so we can keep Easter and anniversary. Do you see how thick this is getting? And they're not even fully stuffed yet. So I'm going to take some of these out. We're going to take out lawn care and then Mother's Day, Father's Day. Sorry, y'all. Back to school is not a holiday. Planner is not a holiday. We've got Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year, and This is just not going to stay, is it? Is that better? <laughs> okay, so we've got Valentine's Day. And we have actually done everything we're going to do. February is over. That means it's time to clean this off. So we've just got a wet 
paper towel here. And the magic of wet erase is that it just comes off. It's easier to do if you lay it flat, but I don't want the blue on everything that's up here. So. Okay, so that is ready for next year. Okay, I'm going to set this $10 over here because I'm going to stick that in an envelope here in a little bit. And we're going to put Valentine's Day here at the end because it's already done. And if we end up with extra money, we can go ahead and throw some toward that for next year. But for this year, it's finished. So that should be everything. Now let's make sure somebody told me to make sure that these alternate. So that's what I'm going to do now because it makes them much easier to deal with. If we just turn them around. Okay. And it looks like I took out enough and I only had to swap a couple. So that's perfect. And then it fits in there much better. So holiday binder is, well, it's not done. We haven't condensed anything. We just got it set up. <laughs> Lord, y'all don't mind me. Okay. So Easter should have $30 in it. Let's see. So we'll keep one of the tens and we'll put a 10 and two fives up here and take this 20. We'll be spending this one for too long. Anniversary has 20, 40, 60, 80, and one. Well, tell you what, I'm gonna put one of these placeholders in here. No, I'm not. Because I want to pay for this with cash. So maybe at a later date, I'll get a $100 bill and we'll swap that out. Mother's Day, we've got 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. So, you know what? I do want the 20s out here. So, We'll pull out this hundred dollars worth of 20s and we'll put in a placeholder for now and that just tells me that if this does go back to the bank before i get a hundred dollar bill there's a hundred dollars in the bank for anniversary so 10 15 20 25 26 27 28 29 30. so i want a 20 bill and then i'll have these fives and ones for later so that gives me $30 for Mother's Day. Let's see what Father's Day has for us. We've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So let's take one of these tens. Fives and ones. Oh, can't have that. Okay, so there's $11 in Father's Day. Let's see what Halloween has. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we'll lay down two of these ones. And I'm gonna swap the ones out for a five. So we've got five, six, and seven in Halloween. Thanksgiving, I don't think has anything. 10, 11, 12, 13. Nope, nothing that we can condense there. Okay, y'all. This one's the one that I'm most excited about. So we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 50, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, and 70. Okay, so. I know I need two placeholders. We're going to do 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, and then 20, 40, 50, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, and 70. So 
if I replace, that's 20, 40, 50. If I replace all of this, that should be $20. So, if this 10 up here, we'll do this five, and we'll do these ones. So we've got $200 going back to the bank and we have 20, 40, 60, 70 dollars. That should make a lot more room in here. See this is why you don't need to do this sideways. There you go. And New Year only has seven dollars and that's what's in there. Okay, we're gonna go back to anniversary and just because I did not want to move that money back to the bank, we're gonna take this placeholder out, 20, 40, 60, 81, and we're gonna move those 20s back into anniversary because I don't really want that in the account yet. Okay, and that's everything out of the holiday envelope. Now, I left this one in the plastic so that you would see how they come. I'm going to end up listing these for sale on my Etsy shop. I have not done that yet, um, but they would come wrapped in plastic. So you just open it up and you have a whole new binder. Now just pull that out sorry about that there may be some noise in the background um, it's time for the family to get up and finishing out some laundry but okay so this is gonna be the expense binder and so the lawn care we actually want this to be 20s and 10s or 5s so see how much is in here 20s and 10s would be ideal. We've got 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 82. So we'll have 200 in 20s. We've got 20, 35, 36, and 37. So that doesn't really do us any good, does it? Okay, well, I guess we'll have to wait for some more of that before we can condense it down any. I want it to be 20s and 10s because we pay this gentleman $30 every time he comes to mow the yard. So I need to be ready for $30. Okay, so lawn care, back to school is gonna go in this envelope. Um, actually, let's get these together and then we'll put them in. So back to school, what does it currently have? It just has three dollars in it so nothing to condense there let's put these in alphabetical order planner we have 25 six seven okay so we've got 27 dollars for the planner there's nothing there to condense down and I'm gonna go over here and steal the debt because I want debt to be in here it is an expense. Okay. Let's see what we've got in here so far and we'll just condense it down. We have 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. Is that right? 63, yep. So let's do a 20 and the three ones. And the rest of this should be $40. So we've got 10, 25, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. So we'll pull out two 20s. And we'll put the rest of this up here. Okay, so we have 20, 40, 60, 1, 2, and 3. 
That's not bad, y'all. And then we get to make a new envelope. Now these come and they're these little pieces in here that you really need to poke out. So oftentimes I've got fingernails, so I don't really have that much trouble getting them off. I mean, it really is just that easy. But if you have trouble, if you can find an ink pen and just get it started, um, you can get them out. They just pop right out. So let me do that real quick. Now, date night is an expense that I want us to have um, every month. My goal, get my Sharpie here, is going to be to have $100 in it, which makes each one of these little popcorn buckets too. And we'll get the blue one. This is where this $10 is gonna go. So I'm gonna color in five of the popcorn buckets. Okay. By the time you can see this video, the date night envelope should be available on my Etsy shop. Um, in fact, all of these are available on my Etsy shop, but we'll have date night. Let's turn dead around so that these are alternating. Okay. And that is everything for our expense binder. So we have holidays and monthly expenses already done. The yellow is still going to be our hopes and dreams binder. This is stuff that we only put money to if we have extra money. So beauty, how much money do I have in here? 25, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, well, nothing to condense there. Oh, 4th of July, we're going to move back to holidays, but I'm probably not going to fund it unless I have extra money, just because we generally go to public things. There's $8 in there, so nothing to condense. Just set it to the side here, and that means I need to swap these around. Um... Let's just pull these out and I'll decide what order I want them in. Actually, beauty, we have vacation. Let's see how much money is in here. We have 20, 40, 60, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92. So we can't do anything about the twos. Okay, so it's 92. So this should be 10. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So let's pull a 10 out, but not two 10s. Okay. 5. And these ones. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 1, 2. Okay, let's see what's in wedding. 20, 40, 55, 56, 57, 58. Nope, nothing to condense there. If we do these in alphabetical order also, that would go there. Honeymoon, 20, 40, 55, 60, and one. So this is 10, 15, 20. We'll pull this 20 out. So we've got 20, 40, 61, and honeymoon. New car, I don't think has very much in it. No, that's three ones. And new house doesn't have any much in it either. It's got a single dollar bill. Let's see how these are. Okay, now it's got everything alternating. Everything for this one is in there. 
Let's pull out holidays real quick so we can put 4th of July away. Mother's Day, Father's Day, 4th of July is going to be right in here. Oh, and these were alternated, so I guess the rest of these are going to have to swap. Sorry about that y'all. My memory card was full. So I <laughs> had to swap that out. Okay. So now we have monthly expenses. We have our holiday binder and we have the hopes and dreams binder already set up. I do have actually two categories that might be added to the hopes and dreams binder. Um, I forgot to make envelopes for those, but I won't make you sit through that. Um, I'll just make these. I don't have any money to put in them yet, so I'm just going to make placeholders for them, more or less, and put them in that binder, but I won't make you sit through that because we're going to make a business binder, and there's not a whole lot that's going to go in here, but this is where my support small income, let me do this my tax money and the uh, take home pay are going to go. So let's do taxes. I made this into um, a savings challenge of sort because some of you know how much taxes you're saving for. I don't. So this is just going to continuously grow and grow and grow, hopefully, but I'll have a spot for it. The Support Small is an envelope that I've been wanting to make for a little bit and I've decided I'm going to keep it in my business binder. Again, I don't currently have um, a dollar amount that I want to reach with that. So I guess it'll just grow and I'll spend from it and it'll continue to grow. Right now I have $5 in that envelope so there's nothing to condense. It would help if I'd poke the holes out, wouldn't it? I'll get that in a moment. And then take home pay, which right now I don't have any. Um, my goal is to replace my second job income with this. So I think right now my second job income is $160, but it used to be closer to 200. So I'm going to put 200 as the goal. I don't expect to hit that yet, but we shall see if I get there. Okay, that's going to be everything for that binder. I'll fix that here, that one here in a moment. Let's count this. We should have $300 here. So I have 20, 40, 60, 81. Okay, so we've got ten, twenty, thirty, forty five, forty five, sixty five, seventy five, eighty five, ninety five, a hundred. This is going to be crazy, y'all. Okay. So we've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So we should have $60 in ones. So let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 4, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I'm starting to drop them. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 
54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. So we have $300 going back to the bank. And just because you guys do it in your videos, that is the wad of cash that is going back to the bank. So it's only $300, but it's $300 I didn't have before. Okay. Thanks guys. I will see you next time. My next video is going to be the sticker shop status update. And in that I will probably show you what my income has been. Um, for the month of March so far and how I budget that because I should have my first ever take home pay, actual take home pay from the Etsy shop. So I'm excited. I hope you catch that one. In the meantime, if you're still up to watching, the best video for you according to YouTube is on the screen and I will catch you all next time.